Are there any non-consecutive vertices in a triangle? No. So can you have any diagonals in a triangle? No. So a triangle doesn't even have diagonals. And that kind of leads me to the second way of classifying, and that is classifying by convexity. Okay. <clears throat> convexity kind of uh, has to do with one relationship or the other. can't be both. You can't have something that's both of these. It's either convex or concave. Okay. And this, this uh, classification only exists for polygons, so you can't have uh, convex circles or any curved shapes. Okay. But uh, convex and concave are defined by the relationship of the diagonals in the figure. And so if you have a if you have a polygon in which all every non-consecutive or every segment connecting non-consecutive vertices so every diagonal lies within the interior of the figure itself so if i looked at here's all the diagonals i can draw for this shape and do any part of any of these diagonals fall outside the the polygon itself no. If that's the case, you're looking at a convex polygon. And now, on the other hand, if I take another figure with five sides, and when I draw in, so if, again, if I draw my uh, diagonals from this vertex, the diagonals do fall inside the figure. However, when I connect these two, that diagonal would lie outside the figure itself. That's the case where you have a concave polygon. Okay, so again, a really easy way to think of that is um, concave has an indentation that's like a cave opening. Okay, so if it looks like there's like a little cave opening, you have a concave polygon. And again, just a reminder that the diagonals are just the segments that connect those non-consecutive vertices of a polygon. All right, so if we go back and let's see, let's take a look at some images. Most of them are from the last page as well. But if you had to identify these as being convex or concave, I just kind of look through all eight of these here and determine how you would classify each of those bricks. All right, so if all we're going to do is identify the convexity of each of these figures, so we're not, we don't need to classify by their sides, just by convexity, is A concave or convex? Convex. Okay. There's no diagonals that would fall outside the polygon itself. What about B? Same thing, convex. What about C? So here's your... Uh, exterior diagonal, so that would be concave. D, convex, E. Again, there's lots of different ones, but concave. F, again, here's an example, concave. And what about G? Okay, so when you look at this, first of all, there's no diagonals, right? So are there any part of any diagonal that fall, will fall outside of a triangle? No. So that means that all triangles must be convex. And so again, this kind of sets up the type of questions where I give you sometimes true, always true, never true. And if I say a square is convex, is that sometimes always or never true? Always true. What if I say a triangle is concave? What if I say a quadrilateral is convex? I'm sure. I don't know. Here's an example, right? Just if I try to make you guys doubt yourself, that doesn't mean you're wrong. I just want you to be certain. So here, here's an example: a quadrilateral that's convex, and this also a quadrilateral that's concave. Okay, so it is possible. It would be a sometimes true, but just be aware. What if I say um, a right triangle is convex? What about an obtuse triangle? Is convex. Yeah, it doesn't even matter, right? I'm getting more specific, even just in general terms. 
a triangle is convex. So again, be aware of the relationships, be able to think through them uh, for those types of questions. And finally, this trapezoid here would be also convex.